Last month, I made $50,000 with software and I have no idea how to cope. But this stream of income didn't happen overnight. And to achieve this, we had to create a brand new system that I never thought would be possible. If you were a software developer, how much money would you make? Or better yet, what would your life look like if you could build any app idea you've ever had? Being a software developer is the most powerful skill in the world because you can build anything for anyone. And now average people can build software with zero code. It's just like building a dropshipping store on Shopify, but minus all the competition. I feel like a broken record at this point because I don't know how else to explain this golden opportunity that's right in front of us, but watch this video all the way through to prepare yourself for my next video. Software, objectively, is the best business model. Full stop, there is zero debate. It is the highest leverage, it has the highest exit multiples, and your customers pay you every month. Now, everyone on YouTube is trying to argue what is the best business for beginners, but I hate to break it to you, there is no such thing as an easy business. Agencies are fast to start and profitable, but have to have over the phone sales ability. Dropshipping, it's easy to source a product and start marketing, but it's extremely competitive with very low margin. Software is the easiest to scale, the most profitable and the least competitive, but it's the slowest to start and you need to know how to code, which is why online gurus don't promote it. They think you're too stupid to learn how to make software. Don't you find it interesting how every single YouTuber is building their own software right now, but they're teaching you the business that they were doing years ago. Why aren't they talking about the business that they're working on right now? Because it's working. Alex Becker is my favorite internet content creator by far. And I witnessed him go from wolf mug drop shipping course seller to selling a $110 million SaaS. Yet not a single video on how to create software. He made a full blown course on drop shipping but not a peep on how he made a $100 million SaaS. So as I enter my SaaS phase, I wanna be an open book. The ethos of this channel has always been to teach exactly what I'm doing immediately the moment that I see it start working. And in the last 12 months, we have discovered a new system that I think is going to change the make money online world forever. Now, anyone can build software with no code. And if you don't believe me, let me just show you. So this is my software revamped and we actually used our bubble template to create it. But revamped is a tool that helps people write newsletters fast. We're going to get a bit technical sounding here, but it's actually a lot easier than it seems. With software, there are two parts. You have the back end, AKA the engine, and you have the front end, AKA the design or what it looks like for the users. So for the engine, we use make.com. This is what powers the backend. All we do is select APIs and visually connect them together. Then we use Bubble to design the front end and make it all pretty for the users. So let me just show you how we do it for revamped. So let's just go ahead and select a source and start writing a newsletter. So I'll select the source. And now, as you can see, we can choose the different writing style and the length. And as we choose the length, we have three options. We can write a short section, a medium section, or a long section. So this is the front end. This is what the user experiences. They just have to choose one of three options, short, medium, or long. Now, this is the back end of the exact same thing. So in make.com, we just have them in bubble, they're in our app, and then they have to choose one of three routes. If they choose short, they're gonna go through the top path. If they choose medium, they're gonna go through the middle path. And if they choose long, they're gonna go through the bottom path. So they select long, it goes down the bottom path. Then we're just using a predetermined prompt that outputs a long section of 400 characters for the newsletter. So there we have a long newsletter section, and this is what our users experience on the front end. And then this is the backend automation that made that work. It's not complicated at all. You're just visually connecting these APIs and putting people through a step-by-step -step process and then showing them a much prettier front end. But there are like 50 of these for our software. So it's easy to do, but you do have to think through it and that takes a little bit of time. See how simple it is to build software. If you can use make.com, 
you can build software. I have an announcement to make. We are closing access to our free bubble course this week as we prepare to launch our new program soon. So if you wanna learn how to build software with no code for free, this is gonna be your last chance. Our free course teaches you how to build an AI app that teaches students how to do their homework. This is the best introduction to bubble and you will see the entire process of bringing a software app to life from start to finish, step by step, all in less than 90 minutes. So if you want access to the free course before it locks, just click the link below and sign up now. I used to think that building software was some complicated thing that only really smart people could do. But then I learned about APIs. By using make.com and rapid APIs, you don't need to reinvent the wheel. You can just use features from existing software and implement it into your own. For example, just a few years ago, if you wanted to include like a calendar feature in your software, you had to go out and build it entirely from scratch. But now you can be a smart no-code developer and just use Google Calendar's API and basically steal all their features and include it in your app. And yes, it's perfectly legal, and that's kind of what makes no code so special. I mean, why would you have traditional developers spend hundreds of hours to build simple calendar features when you could just use one that already exists? Think of it like building a computer. You don't go out and make a hard drive or make a graphics card. You just go buy a hard drive from Samsung and a graphics card from Nvidia. It's the exact same thing with APIs. You just use your no code skills and start combining different tools that you like that solve a specific problem and then you sell your solution. And there are thousands of APIs to choose from in the Rapid APIs library. This is my favorite thing to do to get ideas for my software flowing is just to go to Rapid APIs API hub and you can just scroll and see all the different APIs are available. So the first one I see here is API basketball. So let's say you wanted to create a sports betting app on the NBA. You don't have to create the odds yourself. You don't have to set anything up. You just plug in the API basketball API and there you go. You have a full-blown sports betting app. Now another one could be a text translator. Maybe you want to translate text into different languages on your app or maybe SendGrid. Maybe you want to send text messages from your app. So that way you plug in an AI API and you plug in SendGrid and now you're talking to ChatGPT in your phone. Or maybe you wanna do something like the real estate API. So you can get live market updates, all the sales of houses in your area, include that in your software. So Rapid APIs is one of the most powerful tools in the world because you can take any of these existing software features and then just plug it in. So you're not hard coding the functionality, you're just combining them in a way that you think will be valuable for your customers. And guys, there are thousands of these. So if you wanna check some out for yourself, just go to rapidapi.com slash hub. This is the new era of software and it's where many millionaires are just waiting to be made. I'm gonna assume at one point in your life, you've had a great idea for a software or an app, whether it's something that would help you at work, school, or just a fun game. For me, it was content creation, and that's why we created Revamped. For you, it could be a different issue that you run into every day. Whatever it is, that idea can now become a reality because the playing field is finally even. Because just a few years ago, it was impossible to make those ideas a reality. You either had to A, somehow raise millions of dollars so you could pay pricey developers, or B, learn how to code yourself and spend months and months of your time building out your idea. But now with no code tools, you can build out your MVP in a matter of weeks. And the goal of that is to validate your idea before you spend months building a product that no one wants. A guest I have on an upcoming podcast had an idea for a software for his high school. And in just two weeks, he went from complete beginner to building a functional software that his high school actually used. But again, I'm not here to sell you a dream, even though it is simple to build software and anyone can do it with no code it still takes a few months to validate your idea build your software and then test it so it's still really important to have an income stream while you're building your software you see bubble is a skill and if you learn bubble you are a software developer and people will pay you thousands of dollars to build their software, which is what we do at my agency, WGMI Labs. So in the next video, I'm gonna show you how you can turn your bubble skill into a cash flow generating asset. And then I'm gonna show you how to build your software for free. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel so you can get notified when that video comes out. But other than that, guys, have a wonderful day and I'll see you in the next one.